again. I hope everyone is doing very well. So today we are, well, not just today, but the whole week probably, and maybe even next week, we're doing um, nesting. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant. This is my bump shot. We are feeling heavy, um, tired but all is good i'm ready and energized to start preparing everything for the baby so i have a long list of things to get done i have started with washing all the clothes um the baby's clothes the towels um blankets sheets things like that so we have a bunch of blankets and towels here um, i'm starting to try and organize it into um, this is the zero to three months section um, and then I have like onesies, sleepers, singlets, um, etc. of the um, newborn sizes that I need to put into the drawer. So we're going to be putting it in this drawer for newborn sizes. This is going to be my zero to three month size. So we also are going to create a trolley that I can use um, for anything really, but mostly during the night that I can um, pretty much don't have to get out of the bed for like changes and things like that. Burp cloths, maybe snacks, water, things like that. So I'm going to have everything in this trolley here that I will need throughout the nights once baby is here just to like make things a little bit easier as much as possible i'm going to try to stay super organized we're going to put some like diapers and things like that in it and i'm going to show you how i will be organizing that my postpartum basket this is just my basket and I'm gonna be keeping this one like in the bathroom so just everything that I need for after we've had the baby and just to help making things a little bit easier for the nether regions <laughs> so I have got these uh, disposable underwear they are I think this is the freedom Mum. is it or it's like an off-brand of freedom Mum. I don't know, actually. It's called Ninja Mama. <laughs> so it's not free to mum. But anyway, it's a five pack. So that will just help get through the early days of postpartum when you're usually quite heavy in bleeding um, after you've had the baby. So we've got little disposable underwear. <laughs> They're like massive, like little boy, boy pants, but they'll just be really comfy and a quite soft material as well. So we're going to have that in our basket. We have stool softener because apparently I hear that the first poop when you get home is like really scary. <laughs> and a lot of people say that it's a good idea to get stool softener and that's what the doctors usually recommend anyway. And then I have a perineal bottle. Um, 
that I bought on Amazon. So this one is, it just helps you spray water while you are going to the toilet to pee because it can be very painful. And so this helps to soothe it. So you just like fill the bottle up with water and you just spray your region with that. I have as well that I bought from Amazon is these postpartum perineal gel packs. They can be hot or cold, just like that. And they just come in little uh, cover. So it's just like an ice pack. And then later you can use this hot on like while you're breastfeeding to help with like um, if you got any blockage or, um, or anything like that or if you get like mastitis or something like uh, that can help with that. I have heard. So these are great and they come with these little covers to help. We're gonna have nursing pads. Um, these are already, are already open. My cousin gave me these um, when she finished with them that she didn't need them anymore and she's got heaps left over. So these are just um, uh, the, the disposable nursing pads so in case like you know you get up to the middle of the night and you're leaking a lot and you just want to stay dry. We're gonna have that next to us in the bucket. I'm going to have a change nursing bra that I can change into because um, leaking at night can get pretty bad, we already know that. And I'm gonna pop some of these like, um, maternity pads in the basket as well. Now I know that is everything that I have so far to put in this basket. Um, I'm definitely planning on adding a couple more things as I go. Um, but this is just what I have for now, um, just as like a head start, because I'm only 35 weeks, I've still got a bit of time to get more things if I need. And I also just have a couple like ideas of things that I'm thinking like, oh, I might need, but I don't want to get it and then not use it. So I'm going to wait and see if I need it. And then if I need it, I can buy it. Like it's not the end of the world, um, to wait a minute and see if it's something that you want and need. Um, but yes, so I have everything in this basket that's going to sit next to me in the bathroom just to make it easy for all that stuff that we need in postpartum. I hope that that gives you some ideas if you're also preparing for your own postpartum, um, if maybe there was something in there that you didn't have already, I'm going to link everything down below in the description, so link that you can buy all the stuff, most of the stuff I got from Amazon. So I am 36 weeks pregnant. We are on to like basically, I think this is like week two of nesting. I've done a couple of things over the weekend. So I will show you what I have gotten up to. We've done lots of cleaning and organizing, um, but there's still a long list of things to go before the baby gets here. There's just so much to do. And my little kitten just came to say hello. Hello, my princess. I will show you what I have done. So we have cleaned all the um, cushion covers for the couch. I just need to put them back on. Um, we did that over the weekend and currently I'm just waiting to um, have these other 
cushion covers dry. So that is one thing we've got done. So you can see here we've got all of our, um, this is just our spare room, some things drying. Um, I had to put it inside because this thing kept blowing over with the wind. But um, we've got some blankets, some towels, all sorts of things are drying um, from being washed. Um, we cleaned the air conditioner in this spare room. There's still two more air conditioners to go that need cleaning. Um, so this is the um, bouncer, no swing, sorry, that we have. Um, I just cleaned this because it's been like in storage. My cousin has uh, given this one to me. She gifted it to us. Um, so I just need to put that one back together. And we also have um, this other thingy that we cleaned because it was also in storage for the longest time and just was like really dusty. So we cleaned those things. This is our baby's um, bed that we have. Um, you can just see in here I've got like the mattress protector here. Um, I've got the inner lining for the bed and a breastfeeding pillow. Um, the cover is drying currently, so I just need to put it all back together. But we got that cleaned, just like ready so that it's all nice and fresh and not dusty when baby arrives. Okay, you guys, so we have our baby bassinet here with all clean sheets and this is just the nursing pillow I'm just storing it in here for now we've got fresh cover and waterproof cover everything is nice and clean dust free and cat hair free our beautiful baby blanket that our friend uh, made this for us and I've just got here the trolley that we will utilize when baby is here I can use it next to the bed at night time if I need or in the lounge room wherever because it's got wheels the idea is that it will be really easy to move around so I've just got like a spare like pajama for him newborn size and just a little beanie even though it's summer here and it gets quite hot like really 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 hot um i have heard that babies just lose heat even when it is very hot out so you should still keep a little beanie on them and plus we'll probably most likely have aircon on during the nights anyway i got my my burping cloths here um baby wipes we've just gotten this little thingy um some bum cream and this spatula to Put the cream on his little bum, some um, hand sanitizer, and then just like a little pad that I can use on the bed um, changing at night. And move down here, I just got um, a spare swaddle that I could use if I need. It's just a muslin cloth, a spare nursing bra, and some spare um, pads that I could use like nursing pads, they're all cleaned, ready to use. I have my Hucka. This is just a milk collector. Um, so it suctions onto um, your opposite breast that you're not feeding from, and it will collect any of the milk that um, lets down. So if you weren't aware, now you are, that yeah, usually the opposite breast that you're not feeding from will just have milk leaking out of it. So this will just collect it and you can um, store the milk so that maybe dad could do a couple of feeds or whoever, or just to have extra milk. And these are just little colostrum collectors. So this is for um, your first milk that you get through in the first days. It's only um, usually a very small amount, but it's really, really high in protein um, and we call it antibodies and all sorts of things that the milk, your first milk will have for baby. It's like catered to your baby, exactly what they will need. So we have that, so I can collect some colostrum if need be. And then down the bottom, we just have some nappies here. Um, and they're so cute. They have little, what's this rabbit called again? 
my brain. Oh, I've completely forgotten. What is this? The Disney one. Is it Disney? <laughs> I don't even know. You know what it is anyway, if you're looking at it. <laughs> that is just what I have so far. Um, as time goes on, we'll see if I need to add anything else to it. But this is just what I'm going to need in the beginning. Um, as he changes through different phases, I'm sure there'll be more things that we need. But I will, like, once he's here, I'll probably most likely keep um, a water bottle. Um, some snacks in here because you know when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like starving <laughs> yeah well I just have some high protein snacks and um, that I can use while breastfeeding in the middle of the night especially since when you're breastfeeding you need so much more calories so that will help me get more calories in and have water because you'll be really really thirsty everything is almost ready so here you can see I've also purchased this thing to just sit on the back of my bedroom door. Baby will be sleeping in our room, um, so we need as much storage space as possible. So we got gifted this um, from our lovely friends. And then with this, I don't think um, I really have anything else to put in here for now. Um, as time goes on, I am sure I'll be able to fill this up. But yes! We have a lot of toys still up here. A beautiful Christmas rattle. These will probably just get spread throughout, like all sorts of things. One probably in the car, one in the pram, and all sorts of stuff. So, but I have in here um, just a wooden brush set. I have a, a bath thermometer, free to mom, um, free to baby nose sucker thing not supper and yeah just random stuff is in here so yes this will come in handy I'm gonna say more when we move houses to stay living with my grandma because we don't have a very big cupboard there so I will most likely be using this for whatever we need in the future so I also have in this drawer just a bunch of like random stuff. I've kind of kept all the breastfeeding stuff in this section. So I've got some more nursing pads. These ones my mom gifted to me at my baby shower. Um, they're just super soft um, nursing pads that I can use and there's 60. So I will definitely get good use out of those. These are some milk storage bags that I have. They're just still in the packet. Um, we have my manual pump that I will be using to pump milk. I haven't bought an electric one because I wanted to first see how I go with the manual one. Because I've heard people say different things where some people are like, oh yeah, just the manual pump is better um, than the electrical one. The electrical one's more expensive. So we'll just see how we go with this manual one. Um, see if I like and see if I can express enough milk out of this. So in here we have um this is just a yeah so this kit has like all sorts of random things in it some brushes a little toothbrush nail clippers thermometer scissors and um snot sucker so that will be coming in handy and this was actually gifted to us at our baby shower and then i also have in here which was gifted to us by lovely friends um a nail trim up it's an electric one so that you don't you know it's pretty scary cutting baby's nails so um this one hopefully will be less scary this one here is just um an electrical thermometer that we also got gifted uh and this uh this is just like a one of those finger munchy things where the baby can munch on um a mitten on their hand instead of um sucking their thumb and this just is like honestly some containers and some random stuff in here but yeah you get the point my dad gifted me this um my dad and mom yeah i just have some other random stuff in these drawers so like that's a that is a like a cushion thing that they can do tummy time on some other random stuff <laughs> you get the point some nappies and things 
So that is all for today's video. Um, we have done most of our little nesting tasks that I had planned. Still a couple more to go, but we will save that for another video. I would love to show you guys me packing the baby bag if I can do it <laughs> before baby arrives um, and things like that and the hospital bag, show you what I prepared to bring with me. But yes, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying my videos. I will appreciate it so much. And don't forget to hit the bell notifications so that you don't miss out every time I upload a video. I have so many videos planned for December and I am so excited. Christmas is coming, baby is coming, we've got lots going on and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, besitos.